Hey everybody, it is I, Hellgear. I did say that there was an event coming, but I didn't think that the event coming up next in Snoopy's Town Tale would have hit the scene so soon. <laughs> Nevertheless, welcome back. So, here's the thing. I got all the packs and I completed one of my tasks and with a lot of the stuff, I managed to shoot from level 1 all the way to level 14. So, there's going to be a lot more shooting going on. Well, let's use a different word here. There's going to be a lot more boosting going on. But apparently this is a world food event. And we're making stuff like sushi and chopsticks and food stuffs. I've already crafted a few things, but there are certain things like tacos and hamburgers. And then for this, <laughs> there's one particular item it, it, that doesn't have a name. It's a crepe. We know it's a crepe. Okay, it looks like a crepe. You're using pancakes for it and the pan. It's a crepe. So we got a crepe chef hat, a bowl of spaghetti, bologna spaghetti. <laughs> Good lord. You know, I personally would not have made, let's craft some more chopsticks. I personally would not have put bologna in my spaghetti, but I do know some, uh, some people you know, you make do with what you have. So, let's get down to business. Alright, so, next order of business with this new event, we have another character. And it's a character that I spoke about in one of my earlier discussions. So, I'm going to go click on her and we're gonna see what her story is all about. Anyways, you can see this was how far I got with the movie making event. I got to 35 out of, I think it was in my 30s, out of 50. I didn't complete the full event, but I got as far as I could. Here she is. This is it, Charlie Brown. Last inning, two outs in Europe. All the pressure's on me, but I can do it. I know I can do it. I'll just swing. <sighs> I did it. I hit a home run in the ninth inning and we won. I was the hero. You? Yes, you. So, here's the deal. This is Roy Ann Hobbs, the fictional granddaughter, I believe, of famous baseball player Roy Hobbs. I mentioned her before in the discussion that you, my fellow viewers, were requesting to have this particular character added to the game. Box of baseballs and four bats. The bats are not going to be that hard to obtain. In fact, we just need planks for that. You need to get sticks. I'll craft this. Uh, I should have some planks left over. Well, that's one bat down. And there we go. Can I craft the box of baseballs while I'm here? I need another baseball for that. Uh, now let's get into... Actually, I'm going to have you do some pitching practice because I need another baseball so I can get a box of baseballs. <laughs> it's nice to know that the pork chops are actually something you can use in this game. And uh, if you can swing it, I'm going to show you guys a couple of things that you should have for this event. Where is it? 
Oh, are you kidding me? I gotta get the baseball outfit for that? Ugh. See, this is starting to irritate me. Before, we didn't need the baseball outfit to get the balls. Now I gotta use Lucy. Thank goodness I have Lucy's baseball outfit. Well, that's unfortunate. Alright, now for the, sh the the world cooking event. And they have the uh, this main event. The world famous writer has to take extra writing jobs sometimes. Every novelist has to pay the bills after all. But this job as a food writer is pretty good. After all, it combines eating and writing, two of my favorite activities. Now make me some food so I can eat it and write a review. Just like the previous movie star event, you gotta start out by opening Snoopy boxes. But that's for the challenge task and now the other event tasks. For our new school assignment, we're going to hold a festival of nations. I'm looking forward to learning about the culture and cuisine of different countries. Well, I'm looking forward to eating in general. I forgot to bring my lunchbox to school today, so this is a lifesaver. Ah, uh, now had I done that, the, the little bowl, the bowls of rice that I would have collected and the pancake flour I would have collected would have cleared this pretty well. Not that it matters, I have people doing some stuff. So. Let's open up some of these freebie boxes because we have to. Well, there goes one bowl of rice. There's part of the battle done. Next. Some extra currency. And this will take care of the task. Pasta stand. All right. Got some uh, places to work with. And some extra plate currency. So Linus, what are you doing with this one, my man? Oh, okay, homemade flour. That takes a half hour, but it's all right. Now, planks because I need them. Uh, I have a hundred extra space. To let you guys go, let all of you go. Thank you, Molly Volley, for your rent. I was supposed to do Molly Volley's tasks because I had tapped on her unexplicably. But essentially, what I have to do for... Wait, let me look at Molly Volley's tasks. Just get five baseball caps and do the tennis tricks. I already have one baseball cap, and Snoopy, as the world-famous manager, can get me some more baseball caps. So I think I'll have him do just that. Alrighty. He does some stuff with Roy Ann too. I would rather do... See, here's that unexpected welcome. For one hour you get five sticks with Poochie. But it's better to hug Lila if Lila's in your town. It's better to hug Lila in the town for seven minutes and get six things of tape. You can always get sticks easy. Alright. You're already in uniform, so we're going to have you do that. Molly Volley can't do anything for this event, can she? Uh, sugar. Don't think sugar is going to be needed for this event. So, we'll let that be. Get some more sticks. And I need some daisies to, to make tea. Naomi, can you do anything for this event? Uh, hugging Spike for an hour gets us some tape, but that's pretty much it. Woodstock, you can get me a plank in five minutes, so I'll let you do that. Alrighty. Boarding a batter up. Now I can make another bat. Thank you, Fifi, Snoopy, and Charlie Brown. Linus and Lucy for your rent. Oh, I got Lucy's rent already. 
Okay. Thank you, Pigpen and Polly, for your rent. All right. Lunch time. And some more sticks. So, check this out. Since we need hamburgers and tacos and pork chops, it's good to A, have the hamburger truck if you can swing it with the Beagle Bucks. B, have the taco truck if you can swing it with your Beagle Bucks. Rerun, I'm going to have you get me another magnifying glass because I need the chart. I need the magnifying glasses to make charcoal again. So, taco truck. Speaking of, of tacos, Spike have another taco. And, most importantly, see the pork chop truck. If you can manage to come across these guys, or if you have them already, you're in good straits on making some of the meals. Let's see our progress so far. Getting ready to level up again. This stuff needs a bit more time. I have to get another set of, of sunflowers. Why do we need sunflowers to make green tea? I will never understand that. That coal is up. Let's get these metal ingots from camp. And Harold Angel, thank you for the extra tape, my dude. The hardest part about doing all of this is moving everything around in your town. Now let's see what else Royanne can do. Our baseball player. Fastball for an hour to get one thing of flour, but at least the payout is good. Chocolate Sunday. Gets me a burger. Alright, well. There we go. Throw them balls. More magnifying glasses. Alrighty. Peggy Jean, you can make pork chop stuff, can't you? You can, but that's roasted meat. Ah, unfortunate. All right. I have this area to work with, the donut shop from the movie event. So I might as well use this area to make good on my food, my food placement. So. Remember, folks, when you get new buildings from the events, you got to go to your promotions tab. You can see I still have a lot of stuff from the Movie Star event that I don't know what I'm going to do. I got another taco truck. That works for me. Let's put this taco truck in a different area of town. You know what? Let's put it over there by my where I have the carnival. That way they can eat more than just popcorn and cotton candy. And it'll look nice right next to that ice cream truck. Two pasta sands. Sushi truck. This I do need. Okay. Uh, I could go for some sushi right now. Let's place the sushi truck. No, we don't want to place the sushi truck that close. We'll put it here for now. And that's three hours for some rolls. Er, not rolls. You don't say rolls. Maki. For Maki. You know what? Let's make this the question of the video. What's your favorite type of Maki when you go eat sushi? Let me know in the comment section below. My personal, a personal favorite maki that I like when I eat sushi is called Negi Hama. There's the other bowl of rice. All right. 
So we got some progress going now. We have to collect five chopsticks. Why does it say collect five chopsticks, but it has rolls of, it has two pieces of mock of maki there? I should be able to identify that type of maki, but um, yeah. Okay, so now we just need to put the Japanese house and then get the pancake mix. All right, well. There's this. I'm going to put it right here. And I think I'll put the sakura, the sakura right next to it. Well, I've got one thing of pancake mix, but... Eh. Alrighty. One thing I found interesting during the Movie Star event is when you play certain decorations, it'll tell you to place these decorations again, even if they've given it to you. There's a way that you can uh, bypass that system, but I'm not going to talk about how that works. Alright, let's put a pasta stand. Why would I put a pasta stand next to a Japanese restaurant? <laughs> they they don't they don't have yakisoba or udon. It's pasta. Okay. Let's open up some more boxes. Got another taco stand. <laughs> There's one thing of pancake mix. All right. That helped out with that, Chas. Now we just need one more pancake mix. Okay, there's our sushi. Ah, what roll is that? Looks like salmon. Salmon, avocado, maybe an onion. All right, so sake maki. More event currency, which is great. And more beagle bucks, too, because the areas of land... Hamburger stand! <laughs> okay, we got something new, at least. I might as well take the time to talk about the fact that I'm about to go to level 15. Alright, that's one thing of chopsticks. make a pan I'm actually quite happy with the fact that I have that cornucopia from Thanksgiving because it gives me groceries this is why you keep certain past decorations because you'll never know see right here the cornucopia it's a past Thanksgiving item, and it gives you groceries. You never know when you need this stuff again. That's why you just leave it out on the map if it gives you, if it spawns something useful, or you just leave it in storage for a while. Sorry about that, Snoop. I forgot you were getting me hats. Ceremonial tea. That's what I needed the uh, place for. Wait, do I have the chef outfit? I do have the chef outfit, don't I? Yes, I do. That's right. Going through the, all of the stages, going through all the boxes with the uh, movie star event, I got this. All right. How much does that is that going to take? Fifteen minutes for bread. That's actually really good. Fifteen minutes for bread. That sure beats waiting for the bakery to spawn and having uh, Schroeder get his daily bread, which takes hours. All right. So I got Peppermint Patty and Marcy doing their uh, pancake time. 
their little action where they make bread together will also get you event currency in this one. So keep that in mind. Crack these open. There's my level up for the next one. So we're at level 15. Is that a field of strawberries? Was that strawberries? I have to check. Yeah, it was strawberries. Well, that's one thing I, I can um, not worry about. I have two things of strawberries. Um... I don't know where I'm going to put these other stands, but I'm going to put them somewhere. So, just like the movie star event, you got two deals, okay? You got the $5 pass, you get the $5, you get the $10 character pack. And then you get the world pack, and you can get this bonus thing at the end. So... Hopefully when the back to school event comes through, you know, we don't have, to, we players don't have to be gouged out. Because um, one of the things the Snoopy's Town Tale Facebook page actually asked about the movie star event was how people thought of it. And, you know, as community manager, reading some of the responses of people not liking it and some players actually quitting because of how the event was structured up catered to be like pay to win that was very disheartening to read and of course hear. so hopefully the town tale development team will take into consideration that making these events pay to win is not making the game fun you know if people want to play a pay to win game they'll play mario kart tour Now, when it comes to buying those particular packs, if you have the, the money to swing it, I say buy the gold pass. That way you don't have to go through too big of a thing. Actually, let me check and see if they have a big gap between levels like they did in the movie star event. Because that's one thing I know that I talked about when I left my comment about the event. So let's take a look at at this and see if they have like that super big gap between things because a lot of players mentioned that not just on the Facebook page well I think not the Facebook page but um a lot of people have been talking about how the movie star event had this super big gap for the gold pass where they would get stuff but normal players couldn't get anything for this huge gap of levels and that was one thing that I spoke about that it should not happen. And as you guys can clearly see, so so from 40 on, so from 40 to 48. So here's your big gap from 40 to 48. So you'll get to 47, the gap will be gone. Sushi stand, now that I will place next to the Japanese resting. See, this big gap right here from 44 to 40 to 48, well, not 44, from level 40 to 48 because 47 is the end of the gap. They should not do this anymore. So hopefully the Town Tale development team, when they do look at this, this gap right here, don't do this anymore. That's, that's not cool. And trust me. Players complain during the movie star event about this big gap. They'll complain again during this event about this big gap. Even if it is near the end of the tiers. And the fact that it's near the end of the tiers is kind of... It, well, it's not kind of. It's actually disheartening. Because you're like, okay, I'm 10 levels away. Let me get some really good stuff on the normal level. And it's jack nothing. Then Bo Diddley Squat, if you've seen that cartoon, The Terrible Thunder Lizards. Make some sushi. So again, if you have it, you should only be buying at most 
the Golden Pass, and the Character Pack to get Royanne. If you don't have it, I say just get the pass. Wait for the Snoopy's Town Tale Facebook page to announce a contest so you can win Royanne and go at it that way. And if you can't win Royanne and you feel like, okay, I have the money to just grab her, go right ahead. But you shouldn't be buying all three of these packs. Don't, don't get your money gouged out. So nobody wants their money gouged. I'll pick up this bag of groceries because I need them. And I'll restock on metal ingots because I need them. Do I really need strawberries for anything in this game? Or for this event? So you need the coal for the pan. Okay, you need strawberries for the crepes. And uh, Snoopy's Town Tale Development Team. <laughs> Why is the crepe not named? And what's this last thing for the European meal? What What is that? You know? Or is it just two items? Because if it's just two items, then I get it. Like the North American meal, it's just a burger and a taco. What restaurant gives you a burger and a taco? <laughs> <laughs> oh man but the crepes man and it's not crepe Suzette either because it's not on fire it's just a regular crepe matter of fact let me get this strawberry so I can make this crepe get the strawberries free you out of that and you out of that oh I can get eggs my goodness the Easter the 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 mmm so good to have this hen house right here so I can get more eggs too bad it doesn't give me two anymore. Thank you, Linus, for your rent. Let's end this episode opening up these last two gift boxes. More currency. And some outfits. I wish everyone the best of luck doing this event. Good luck. And as always, be sure to like, comment, sub, and bell if you've enjoyed yourselves and want to see more Snoopy's Town Tale content. But for now, I take my goose from the oven because I'm done. Bye-bye, everybody.